Hello, my name is Darren Benson with Performance Motor Coaches. I wanted to do a little video on this particular 4x4 coach. We've done a few videos on some 4x4 units. Uh, this actual unit has been broadcast all over the internet, traded to a dealer up in Michigan that has a really good marketing program. However, they knew very little about the coach. So I wanted to go through and kind of dispel some of the stuff that they had mentioned in their videos. Um, I'd like to say that this, this particular coach design is something that I came up with myself. I built a few of them. I've stayed in them. I've perfected the, the design. Uh, I've traveled tens of thousands of miles of different coaches uh, of these four-wheel drive caliber. They're all show hauler. Um, very, very unique. Um, I'm proud to say that I'm the only person that can sell a 4x4 show hauler in the country. So we'll kind of go through and check everything out. Uh, this is M2 Crew Cab called the 106 so it is uh, it is considered a medium duty truck it's equipped with a 350 horsepower Cummins it's an 8.9 liter ISL a lot of guys will call it uh, an ISL 9 but it is a 8.9 liters it's, it's mated to an Allison automatic uh, it's a 3000 series automatic 6 speed so nice solid drivetrain very easy to drive Lots of drivability to it. Uh, we'll kind of go through here. We have a 50 gallon tank. All your emissions devices are all in one here because it is a four wheel drive and we have the transfer, transfer case to contend with. We cannot have the emissions in line like, like a standard truck, like a two wheel drive truck. Um, I think I wanted to kind of point out uh, the previous customer I sold this to in Ohio put that bench seat in. We do have the original bucket seats, it does inhibit entering and exiting the cab. I will probably stick those buckets back in just because they're air ride and it makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the cab itself. We'll go up front here. I know uh, we're back in the shop today. It was a little windy today and hot. Uh, it's during the lunch hour to try to get some, get some, you know, some nice quiet time back here. So this is a, um, this is a fully aluminum. It's not steel, it's aluminum grill guard. Uh, company up in Canada builds this. Um, we built some steel grill guards here at, here at our shop, uh, but this one is aluminum. This one uh, does flip down. These guys remove that pops out right there. Uh, the customer did put the LED light bar on it. Uh, I noticed in some of the previous videos people talked about a diode being out. We'll probably end up trashing that with a nice rigid. Uh, full blackout package on it. Uh, the headlight bezels. It, grill everything is all painted black uh, the wheels are powder coated uh, that's the same size tire front and rear it's a 425 it's 225 but it's the same size front and rear uh, the same size wheel as well uh, the tires are rated for 11,000 pounds so you don't have any issues there as far as overloading uh, you just basically essentially flip that tire back and forth uh, there is a spare tire on this as well a large fuel tank over here the generator uh, pulls off of the fuel tanks. The fuel tanks drop at the same time. So this is an 80 gallon fuel tank. Across the way we have a 50 gallon fuel tank. So collectively you have 130 gallons of fuel on board. Um, very rugged, very, very utility. Uh, vinyl seats, vinyl floor, easy, easy to clean. Uh, but you know, has anything you'd expect. Uh, power locks, cruise control, uh, nice air conditioner, does have navigation and uh, Bluetooth. Uh, it does have hydraulic leveling, which is pretty unique for a four-wheel drive configuration. Um, because the coach is relatively tall, uh, at certain times you might have to put some boards underneath the hydraulic feet, uh, but it does afford you the opportunity to level the coach. So show haulers are fully welded steel frame they then weld to the frame of the truck. Uh, there is a gap between your storage compartments and your conversion, so it's not like a diesel pusher where it's all one piece. Uh, but it is fully welded steel frame. The overhead is welded um, steel as well. And then all of your sheet metal is actually uh, aluminum panels. It's 063 panels, so very, very thick, um, not like a conventional cargo trailer. So thick panels, they'll take a lot of abuse uh, they are adhered using a 3M VHB tape. Essentially, it's a really nice 
high quality uh, double sided tape and not had any issues with any of the panels popping or anything like that. I've been a show hauler dealer for about three and a half years. I've owned lots of pre-owned show haulers, no issues whatsoever. We'll kind of go through the compartments here. Uh, that's your diesel exhaust fluid. We weren't able to, we had to scooch it back because of the placement of the batteries and the jack there. So I get diesel exhaust fluid. We have uh, two 8D AGM Lifeline batteries. We have a large 3000 watt power inverter. We have a 8000 watt, I think some of these I've locked for today, but I'll try to pop them over. 8000 watt Element generator. Uh, decent size, uh, not overkill. But it will definitely run everything in this coach. Uh, it's not like a lot of the other show haulers that have a plug on the back to be able to run a trailer. Most of those we do with 10s and 12 highs. With 8,000 is really all you would need in a, in a coach of this size. You know, we did small things to try to get more clearance. Ported the engine exhaust through the side right there. Uh, try to bring everything up as, as well as possible. The tires and wheels, the, uh, we deal with the Freightliner dealer up in Elkhart. Uh, there's a Freightliner uh, sales rep that he's been there for eons. and he, he gets every aspect of this, so we work really well with Freightliner and really well with that particular dealer up in Indiana. Uh, he did an excellent job at uh, getting us the right wheels to be able to track. Uh, you know, you can definitely tell that the front wheels, front and rear look different, but they're, they, are, they are the exact same and they track perfectly. Does, he did a phenomenal job helping us out there. Uh, this is your considered your wet bay. So you got uh, gray water and black water. Uh, each one of those tanks is 72 gallons a piece. Uh, they are not ported in to each other. So uh, it gets a little messy at times uh, dumping the gray water and black water tank. But with 72 gallons of black, you stay out for a long time before you have to worry about it. Um, the, this is also where you connect your, your city water, which is probably a rarity in a coach of this, uh, but this is where you would uh, connect your hose to fill the tank inside itself. Um, because of the placement of all the storage compartments and uh, we weren't able to bring the shore power in on the storage compartment, we use a nice uh, Marine Co. Twist Lock 50 amp connection there. The, when I sold the coach, originally it did have a spare tire carrier. This will let down. The customer did build uh, the rear bumper there. Uh, there have been several videos talking about a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, will the unit tow 20,000 pounds? Absolutely. Would I recommend it? No. Uh, this unit is really built for more utility. You put a 10, 12,000 pound cargo trailer back there, you know, with toys or, you know, flatbed trailer with a Jeep or anything like that, I wouldn't worry about it whatsoever. But definitely I wouldn't want to be trying to stack a 20,000 pound stack in the back of my it's something pretty cool that I came up with. And that's just an extra storage there. You put skis, you know, you could, uh, you know, you could have a custom built uh, gun cabinet for it. But uh, it just kind of makes it nice to have a little additional storage there on the outside. Uh, this does not drain out. So if you're going to put some skis in there, we'd probably have to build a pan in there and it will drain, which wouldn't be a major issue whatsoever. Nice, um, I forgot to kind of mention. Really nice uh, LED security lights on the outside. Uh, those are a uh, lab cork LED light. They do a phenomenal job, very, very bright. And they work great as a, as a security light. We generally do uh, one or two on the curb side, and then we'll do one on the back, and then one on the road side. So it's kind of how bright they are. I pretty much equip all my show haulers with hydronic heat, which is a diesel fired burner uh, that heats coolant and then the coolant is circulated throughout the coach. This particular unit does, well all, all the hydronic heating will heat your domestic water as well. So essentially as long as you have water and as long as you have diesel, you're going to have hot water. It won't be an issue whatsoever. This is plumbed to the motor as well. So as you drive down the road, you don't have to operate this system. You don't have to run the burner or electric portion of this, uh, the waste heat from the engine will come back and keep the system maintained as far as temperature. So it's a really nice setup. Uh, equally, you can reverse cycle this and uh, pump your heated coolant back to your motor to actually preheat your motor in really, really cold environments. Uh, so we've got
got it in here yesterday. Um, I got in the, wash, in the wash bay with the guys, got it cleaned up. We haven't got it through and you know, perfected it. We'll be playing around with it, kind of consider it a demo till it sells. Um, Boom, there's two storage compartments here. Well, take that back. They're locked. Um, the last thing about the storage compartments, they're actually linked together. So you have one that flows front to back. Um, in fact, let me grab the keys around. kind of messy in here but you can see the two captain seats that came out of the back uh, but nice flow through so there again if you had really large items you could be able to put those guys down there it is prepped if you want to do an outdoor cooler uh, there's a 110 connection there is a 12 volt connection and then back here um, is a video connection so if you had an outdoor TV you want to throw it out there you could connect into the system uh, this has keyless entry with the keypad itself will lock the door and the cab door. The, we have two key fobs that go with it as well. Um, so it makes it nice to be able to hit one button and be able to lock your entry door and your uh, cab itself. With the top swings, which is what we have here, we can't do those fully locking. Uh, just the, my idea with the amount of jolting and whatnot, I didn't want to do the side swings and have to worry about adjusting those side swings on a four wheel drive application. Uh, we'll step inside here. I wanted to show you guys this door. This door is phenomenal. Uh, when I first started dealing with Show Hall three and a half years ago, they were using the same door we have on campers, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar campers here. So this particular door is very, very robust, very, very stout. Uh, great if you got pets right here. Don't have to worry about them tearing up the screen there. When you shut this door, it's solid. You don't hear that on hardly any motorhome out there. Even your higher end diesel pushers don't have such a solid, robust door. Uh, nice step well here. Designed, you can put some extra shoes underneath here. You can see, tell how far that is underneath. Really, really deep there. We'll go inside. Uh, this is a uh, vinyl floor. There again, uh, the idea was to not put too much weight, not to worry about things breaking. There's a vinyl floor, not a tile floor. It's not heated uh, just due to uh, the issues of heating a vinyl floor and have to worry about the glue softening and such. Uh, it does have a fair amount of hydronic registers located throughout the unit. So in essence, um, the floor is going to stay relatively warm. That is an escape hatch there. In fact, let me hop up. It's kind of difficult to see. Let me pop that, pop that guy out of there. There is a little escape hatch there. Pretty cool to be able to get out on the roof if you need to clean your solar panels and such. Uh, nice. Uh, it's a 32 inch TV. It's a 28 inch TV. Uh, it is a smart TV. It does have in motion satellite on it. Um, I will have uh, my own personal direct TV hooked up uh, by the end of the day today. So essentially, you've got sleeping for two over the top. If you wanted to maintain that. Uh, bench seat, you put some kids there. I wouldn't have a lot of heat or air conditioning flowing up to that area, but that is an option. This particular couch does fold out, uh, so two people could be on this couch once you flipped it out. The dinette itself is fixed, and the reason why I prefer the fixed dinette is what they call the dream dinette that drops down to a to a bed. They're just rattly. Um, this is this is this is very stout. So, you know, if you need to some assistance getting in and out of the booth, uh, the, it, it's stout. It's not going to move on you. You don't have to worry about uh, any jolting or whatnot. Uh, there again, if somebody decided they needed to do something different, uh, this could be removed, and we could put a dream dot net. Uh, this is the slide out. It is slid all the way out. Uh, Schoeller uses a very very simple slide out mechanism. It's from Lithco electric motor, there's support arms on each side, so there's nothing that's really riding on motor or hydraulics. Uh, if you disconnected everything, you could, you know, a toddler could push this slide room in and out, uh, which makes it really, really nice. Um, we'll go through nice uh, all maple cabinetry. Uh, these are solid wood. This is considered, um, this is basically just a reverse panel right here. So this is a raised panel, but it's kind of what they call a shaker style, a little bit a little bit uh, more modern look. 
One thing I like to do in all my show haulers, and it's a big deal for me, trash can, pull out trash can. I don't know why people don't think of this. I've been in RVs from 15,000 to 650,000 people have trash bags tied on to their, to their cabinetry and such. It really drives me crazy. Um, all the drawers, of course you can see I'm a neat freak. I picked it up myself and got it all cleaned up. Um, all dovetail drawers there. They're all soft clothes. So excellent cabinetry. Uh, large deep basin sink. Uh, there again, a person could uh, you know, do like half of a sink cover if you needed to you know, be able to cut some vegetables and whatnot. Uh, we'll go through all of the, this would be a combination pantry and uh, storage. So all these do pull out. And then we'll go back to the cedar line closet. Cedar line closet, still some of my clothes in there from coming in. Uh, large closet, so you can put, you know, your, you know, all your clothing down in there and then your hangables up top there. Um, down below is the water tank. This is a 100 gallon water tank. All the water lines and all the drain lines on a show hall are all above the floor. So they can be used in very, very cold environments. It's nice to be able to have the water tanks above floor versus down below. Um, just kind of continue through. Uh, like I said before, it does have two air conditioners. They are 15,000 BTU air conditioners. Uh, they, uh, the condensation uh, does not roll off the top of the roof. That's a big deal for me. It's a huge, huge deal to not have a nice high dollar coach with condensation rolling right off the top. Uh, like I said, two, uh, two 15,000 BTU units. Uh, they generate will run just fine, and they do have heat strips in them as well. Uh, the refrigerator is a eight cubic foot Vitfrigo. These are actually made in Italy and typically designed more for the uh, yachting, boating industry, and some of the, uh, I've seen them in some of your higher end uh, tour buses and such because they are a 12 volt compressor. Uh, the nice thing about being 12 volt compressor is you don't have to run your inverter to run your refrigerator. Uh, there's no propane to this. This refrigerator and freezer combination will keep things cold, much cooler than an RV refrigerator. So you can put ice cream in there. Uh, it's just gonna do a lot better job. The, get back to the bathroom. In fact, I'll probably swap areas with you, Doug, so you can kind of see. Uh, it's tighter, but a uh, really large bathroom uh, for this size of unit. This is basically a 20 foot, nine inch box. Uh, fiberglass shower. I'm gonna do a fiberglass shower instead of a tile shower, just there again. Some of the jostling and whatnot didn't want the tile shower breaking. Uh, but a ton of storage, uh, porcelain toilet. Uh, it is not a auto flusher, so you don't have to worry about taking all your fresh water and putting it right down your tank. Um, ton of storage. One thing I wanted to show you guys, and this is something I'm real proud of with Show Hauler. So they isolate everything that would be uh, that runs off your inverter versus running off shore power or generator power. So essentially, you can see all your items right here. Every one of these items right here operates off a of generator shore power. And then over here is everything that runs off your inverter. So it's very easy to isolate those items. Um, very easy to, if you needed to be able to change some of these items uh, to run off the inverter. I've done them, I've done them, I've done them in parking lots. So I mean, it's a really simple deal to be able to uh, add additional circuits or change any of those circuits whatsoever. Snap this guy back in here. Um, all the lighting in, inside is multiplex. It's a pretty simple system. You just have control boards that then go back there and see this guy right here. Uh, and I'll pull this loose. So essentially, uh, that is just a control board that runs all your lights. Uh, they are dimmable, fully dimmable, which is really nice. Uh, and then you can drop every light in the house with one button, uh, so it makes it handy if you're headed to bed and don't have to go and turn off every single light. Kind of walk back up front here, see if I missed anything. I think this is pretty much, pretty much it. Um, so there's, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to call me on my cell phone number. It's 806-786-7676. You know, I've got a true passion for these show haulers. I really love the four-wheel drive versions. I love the aspect of being able to just be able to pull off left to right and get 
into any kind of a shopping center. If you want to go through and get off into uh, outdoor area, it's really not a concern. Uh, the vast majority of the people that are going to be using these uh, aren't going to go on extreme four-wheel drive trails, but you know, just going down forest service roads, you typically can't, can't take a motorized RV down a forest service road. And so that was the intention of these four-wheel drive show haulers. Uh, we have more units that are coming down the pipeline. This is the only unit that will be available for close to a year. Uh, so might not be your exact cup of tea, but uh, you know, I invite you guys to come out and take a look. If you guys wanted to come out and stay a night in it, feel free to. Um, we really encourage phone calls, anything you guys might want to uh, add uh, whatsoever, that's fine. Um, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you come down and press the like button so you'll see more of our videos. Thank you.